Hello and welcome to today's edition of the Danielle Daily Show. I am Danielle Watson. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I'm really excited to talk about today's topic because it was actually brought up by a viewer during yesterday's show. And there's nothing I love more than to address the real topics that we're grappling with out there in our in our day to day lives. So when you guys give me a topic to talk about, it just endlessly makes my mind happy. It gives my heart this song that just it really lights up my day when you guys have something that you're dealing with that I'm also dealing with and then we all get to talk about it here together so I think this is going to be a really good topic and I'm also going to confess some things that you know might not be how you think about me but I really want you to know that although I I try to be a positive person like 90% of the time I very much am human and I very much have those moments where I do not perform in the way that I would wish and it's because I'm still practicing and and as long as I'm here in the human body I'm still going to make mistakes and I'm still going to do things that are not what I wish I was doing and I think it's a good thing for all of us to talk about those pieces of ourselves that maybe don't work as well as we'd like them to at this point in our life and that we're still working on making them better so it looks like Ashley has joined us Julio is here Chris is here I believe this is the first time Chris has been able to join us live so this is very exciting thank you so much for being here guys so today we are talking about anxiety because one of the viewers yesterday brought up this topic we were talking about having a fresh start and how you can give yourself a clean slate or a fresh start at any point during your day and she said you know that's really important for me to help keep my level of anxiety down and when she said that I was like oh my gosh you know I deal with anxiety as well you know those of us who are very driven we're very fierce we're getting things done and doing things I think a lot of us really have to work with the level of anxiety that comes up inside of us and so I thought I would tell you a little bit about what I do when I get anxious and I don't mean the pretty part I mean like what actually happens usually when I get anxious and then we can talk about you know what it is that we do want to practice when we notice ourselves feeling this way hello Ashley Ashley says hello love Elena is watching thank you so much so I think this topic of anxiety is really important I feel like it gets talked about but in a very clinical sense so I'm not talking about clinical anxiety today if you you know have a medical condition I'm happy to offer what what wisdom I can but if this is something that you suffer with clinically make sure you're doing whatever it is that your doctor tells you to do if you're worried that you are suffering from clinical anxiety you know go see your favorite healthcare practitioner I'm just talking about the everyday anxiety that many of us get from having too many things to do or from worrying too much about the future or from feeling like we're not making progress on things so that is the kind of anxiety that we're here talking about today the garden variety day-to-day -day anxiety that tends to grab some of us and and make us feel like we're not really getting things done so for me when I start to feel anxiety <laughs> It's funny because I know what I should do is to stop and reboot or do something else. But what actually happens many times when I'm feeling anxious is I actually do the things that make me feel more anxious. Do you do, you do that too? So you're feeling anxious and so instead of taking time to just relax, you will have a cup of coffee or you're feeling anxious because you have so many things to do so you will try to do more of the things on your to-do list to get them done because somewhere in your head you think well if I can just check off all these things somehow I'm going to feel less anxious another thing that I've noticed I do when I'm feeling anxiety is I will call a friend and I will talk about it and I will talk about all the things that might go wrong or all the things that are that are not going well I don't know if you guys have seen that meme that goes around Facebook and it says I have 99 problems and like 96 of them are completely made up in my head <laughs> so that's sort of what tends to happen when I call somebody when I'm feeling anxious I talk about all those 96 imaginary problems and it just adds more energy to them it blows up that anxious energy and it's not actually helpful now 
I am learning to catch myself and to practice other things that actually help my anxiety level come down. But the truth is, a lot of the times when I'm feeling anxious, I'm still in that habitual pattern of doing things like caffeine, like talking to a friend about all my worries, or trying to get more done instead of doing what I would like to practice, which is to do something that would actually lower my anxiety. It looks like Lauren Jones is watching. Thank you so much for joining us. So if you joined us a little bit later in the broadcast, Again, I'm Danielle Watson. This is the Danielle Daily Show. We're talking about anxiety because yesterday one of the viewers brought it up. We were talking about how we need that reset multiple times in our day. We need to give ourselves that clean slate or that fresh start. And she was saying how important it is to her because it allows her to manage her anxiety and to keep her levels of anxiety down. And I just thought, Oh yes, I, I also work with anxiety. I get all ramped up about things and sometimes that gets the best of me. And sometimes I just let myself sort of go into that mode of piling more on and doing things that actually make me more anxious rather than less anxious. So I would love to hear from you guys what sorts of practices you use to bring your anxiety level down. I know I have mine. And the funny thing is is that it's not that I don't know what to do when I'm feeling anxiety. I do. And I think that that's, that's something that is fairly, not universal, but fairly common. We know exactly what it is we should do. People have written about it ad nauseum, but we don't actually put it into practice. And that's the important piece. You know, having all the knowledge in the world about what you should do when something's happening doesn't serve you at all if you don't actually practice what it is you know. So when I feel anxious, I know what I need to do is not consume caffeine. If I, I might have a cup of tea, but it needs to be something like a chamomile tea or a peppermint tea. I need to do something like step away from whatever it is that's causing me to feel anxious. So if that's my to-do list or thinking about something in the future, what I need to do is disengage from that, not to ramp it up. So I tend, when I feel anxious, to ramp it up, to actually try to engage more with whatever it is so that I can you know, wrestle it to the ground and finish it or check it off the list or be done with it. But usually the better thing to do for me would be to actually walk away from whatever that is that's causing me to feel that way and calm myself and become more centered and more rational and then to reapproach it at a later time. I know that, that doesn't mean I always practice it. I am working towards practicing that on a more regular basis. I know I am getting better at it. Every year, every day, I'm practicing getting better and better and better at doing the things that I want to do and behaving the way I want to behave and thinking the way I want to think. And it is a constant practice. This practice of taking a positive approach to life, it's really, truly a practice. There, there is never a day when I am not engaged in trying to be or do more of what I know is best for me. And I, I really want you guys to know that because I know, you know, 90% of the time I show up here and I'm smiling and I'm happy and life is great. And I love that. And, and that's true. That That is true. Most of the time I feel great, but there are also days when I feel sad or I feel anxious or I feel something that I don't really want to feel. And I would love to say that I have it all figured out and I, I always exactly perfectly do what it is I need to do, but I don't. Like Sometimes I fail to do what it is I need to do and I, I feel like I'm hopefully not the only one that's doing that. I feel like that's the reason there are so many people writing about what to do when you feel a way that you don't want to feel. It's because not that there is something new to be said on the topic, but because none of us are practicing it or we're not practicing it as much as we'd like to. It looks like Tim is here. So let me know what you guys do when you are feeling anxious and you actually catch yourself and you're trying to ratchet down that feeling of pressure. So I know that another thing that really helps me when I'm feeling anxious is to actually move my body through space. So whether that's to go outside or it's to do yoga or something like that, 
moving my body around and just sort of like working that energy out is, is a really good thing. Um, oh, I thought there was a comment. No, that was just another person joining us. So thank you. I really appreciate you guys for being here. I feel like this is such an important topic. I feel like so many of us are very achievement oriented. We're very goal oriented. We're very much wanting to move forward quickly. And sometimes we can get caught up in that, that feeling of anxiety. And maybe we're not that practiced at catching ourselves and doing what it is that we know we should do. I'm, I really don't believe that there's anybody who is watching this broadcast or who will watch this recording who just has no clue what they should do when they're feeling anxious. But the thing is, if we don't actually practice those things, then they're not, they're not going to be able to help us. So things like, wa like drinking more water, Things like talking to a friend about something unrelated to what we're feeling anxious about. You know, I was saying earlier that I will tend to call a friend and talk about all the 96 imaginary problems that I have, which tends to make them feel like they are bigger and more real than they are when really they're just in my head. Uh, doing something like exercise, meditation. If you have animals, playing with your animals. If you have children, playing with your children. Uh, I know for a lot of people, retail therapy is good for anxiety. That's, that's not one that I tend to engage in, but I know that works really well for people. For some people, taking care of their yard or the plants in their house, there's so many things that we can do when we're feeling anxious that will help ratchet down that feeling. But the key is to actually do those things. We have the knowledge, we have the power, we're completely empowered to lower our level of anxiety, our level of you know normal non-clinical anxiety, just the day-to-day -day sort of anxiety that many of us uh, feel on a regular basis. We have the tools to do that. And really the missing piece is just to practice whatever it is we know that, that makes us feel better. So. I hope that was helpful. I didn't receive any comments on that, so I'm hoping that you guys are mulling that over. If you have something you wanna to add to the conversation on this, remember, I always read all of the comments, even after the show. If you leave me a comment, I will respond to it. All of these Facebook Lives are actually also on my YouTube channel, and I don't know if you saw yesterday, uh, they had actually shut down my YouTube channel due to who knows what, they some I violated something well I was able to actually get it restored so all of these videos are available for you there I will include the link in the comments after the broadcast is over I have today's note to self for you so I hope you are ready to write that down are you ready okay so today's note to self says dear self anxiety is, is a sign that it's time to get back in touch with reality and I think that's really what is at the heart of anxiety is that we are out of touch with reality. We are making up scenarios in our mind that, that are not actually real, that will probably never come to fruition. And it's really all in our head. So when we feel anxious, that is simply a reminder. It doesn't mean that it's bad. It's just a reminder, hey, when I feel this way, it's time to get back in touch with reality. It's time to get back in touch with what is actually going on here and what do I need to do to make myself feel a little bit better so that I can continue to do the things that it is I know I want and need to do in a way that doesn't make me feel so anxious. So I will read that note to self one more time and then we will hop off. Today's note to self is Dear Self, Anxiety is a sign that it's time to get back in touch with reality. So think about that. Let me know how that helps you or doesn't help you. I really hope that you are writing these notes to self down because even if you're not dealing with something relevant to that today, you never know tomorrow, next week, next month, this might be something that helps you shift out of just sort of unconsciously reacting to whatever's going on to going, oh yes, this is how I want to behave when this is coming up for me. So 
Hope that was helpful. Again, I'm Danielle Watson. That was today's Danielle Daily Show. If you need anything from me, you know how to get me. I love it when you guys share these broadcasts. I love the hearts. I love the thumbs up. I love the happy faces. I love it when you come up with a topic that you'd like to hear my perspective on. And I thank you guys for listening to, you know, the fact that I am not a perfect human being. When I feel anxiety, often my first response is to actually do everything that I shouldn't do. And I'm working towards being somebody who more often has the kind of response that I know I need to have to go ahead and, and lower that anxiety level. So I hope that was helpful for you. I will see you back here tomorrow. I love you guys. Until then, mwah, bye.